Think about this. For many many years now metaphysics give us the list of emotions that cause certain illnesses or a better to say certain organs dysfunctions. If you see your friend hurting himself like cutting or bruising on purpose you would suggest that he goes to therapy. You would say that is self-inflicted and it's psychological so he needs help from mine doctor. He needs to find out why he does that to himself and the way to do it is through therapy. Now, at this day of age we all know that scientists and researchers proves what metaphysics has been claiming for centuries, that certain organs or parts of our body represent certain emotions. In other words, they are seats of those emotions. Like kidneys are the seat of fear or liver is a seat of anger. And of course no one else is in our mind but us, we are the one who have those emotions. Those emotions doesn't come from someone else. Our kidneys don't produce fear, they react on a fear we feel. So we are creating fear in our mind and our kidneys react on that by not working as they should. We do that to ourselves. That also self-inflicted, isn't? Now I wonder how come if someone complains about kidney problems you as a friend or a doctor general doctor do, not suggest him to go to a therapy. No one is thinking why he is feeling fear but just that he has a kidney problems and he needs pills. Same as self-inflicted wounds, we suggest to him, if he cut himself. First to go to a general doctor to have those wounds fixed on the outside and of course with some pills, and then to go to therapy, to find out why he is doing that to himself. Why is he hurting himself, what does he feels, what emotion does he feel, to make him do that to himself? Isn't it the same with the kidney problems? You would suggest to him go to kidney doctor and take pills or whatever it takes as the first step. But, and now it goes big, but, how come you or doctors in general do not suggest him to go to therapy to find out what emotions he is feeling in this case fear, in order to heal those kidneys? In other words, to find out why he is feeling fear, what is he afraid of? Moreover with self-inflicted wounds from the outside, usually person does that very soon after the person feels some emotion that makes him hurt himself. But in a case of internal organs, in this case kidneys the feeling of fear has to be long-standing in order for kidneys to start reacting, better to say to start working dysfunctionally. When you look at this wouldn't you say that is more urgent for a person to go to a therapy for self-inflicted kidney problems, than for self-inflicted cuts on his body? Strange isn't it? But since we see cuts on his body we think that's an urgent problem which it is, I am not saying that it's not. I'm just wondering why none of the doctors or friends suggest the person who has kidney problems to go to therapy while this hurts, are much more long-standing.